Hey Leos, welcome back to my channel. Like I said, you guys were next to my queue. I'm so sorry it's been so long. If you guys don't tell anyone, Leo is actually my favorite sign. So I don't know why I forgot about you. I didn't forget about you guys. It's just been a while. And actually, as I was starting to record your reading, um, it was dark, which I was like, we can't have that with Leo because you guys are the sun. So I don't know if that's like symbolic that you guys have felt like, don't let the sun go down on me. If you guys have been like someone's taken the wind out of your sails or something, I don't know, like depressed, just kind of like not really being able to see the light we see. <laughs> what is going on with my Leos? Oh, okay. So this is going to be a love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Cross Watchers for Leo, which means that you could, as a Cross Watcher, relate to this reading if you're dealing with a Leo, okay? It could be a reading for you versus a reading for the Leo. Um, and this is December 11th, so we're going to December 18th, but if you happen to find this reading and it's not within those dates and the reading resonates for you, take it as it resonates, okay? There is going to, I, okay, I feel like you guys have a lot of things shifting and changing right now. It's almost like I, was, I wasn't ready for all of this, okay? And you're having to make some diplomatic decisions. Now, because the tower is here, I don't want to like, I feel, I just, I just got this message almost that like someone could have passed and you're almost having to like make funeral or I don't know, that's a lot. But it's kind of one of those things where it's like you're having, you have a lot on your plate right now. Okay, but things are going to let up, all right? You're actually on the verge of starting. If that if that other random message doesn't relate to you, we're not doing a life reading anyway, so this is a love reading. Um, you're gonna start a new chapter here, okay? You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. There could be um, someone who you and this person, I feel like are going to have, I feel like you're going to have a new beginning with someone and you both have this very fresh, like doe-eyed, energy you could literally have just met an earth sign or be meeting an earth sign okay let's see if this is i'm not getting any past energies but there could be some you could even be talking to someone online that you're meeting we do have capricorn taurus virgo again and oh okay so this could be like a, a twin flame situation here okay um, this person can be someone who has got their finances together. They're very stable. They've got it going on. They could build, you could build like a stable life with this person. Okay. So if you've been going through hard times, I feel like someone very positive is going to show up for you. This could also be you guys just trying to get your money together, trying to get your finances together, your home, everything right. But I feel like, um, that things are moving in a positive direction. Okay. So, Leos, let's get some energy from this Untold Truths of the Heart. What are some more energies going on for Leos right now? <clears throat> One day, someday, somewhere, another time. Okay, maybe this person that you're going to get with is someone you've been dreaming about or someone's been dreaming about you where it's like you guys can finally get together that elton john song just came to me um someday out of the blue so this to me is someone maybe from the past that's been dreaming of reconnecting with you you see deep love soulmates unity oh my god you guys unity and the four of wands the four of wands is the twin flame union card i cannot believe it so if you've had an earth sign from the past look at this okay so this is someone you've always felt this connection with. If you're a Leo and you're wondering if this person feels the same, I feel they do. Past life, karmic lessons, repeated patterns, deja vu. This is so spiritual, this connection that you have with this person. Drifting, slowly parting, disconnecting, detaching. I feel like you guys did have to drift away from each other. You did have to. This was all part of your karma, though. This is how the whole thing was actually supposed to play out. Wow. Okay. So, but I don't feel like either of you have forgotten about each other. That's the thing. Someday out of the blue. Maybe, it's someday out of the blue, maybe years from now or tomorrow. I'll turn and I'll see you as if our love were new. 
someday we can start again, someday soon, drool. This is someone that you had a lot of, um, a lot of attraction to. And then mystery woman, I'm the one who he hides in the shadows, the one he doesn't tell you about, the one he comes home. Okay, so there could have been a third party situation that, but that was karmic that you see, this was something that was supposed to happen. It was a karmic lesson. It was karma brought on, on from a prior life beam of light surround yourself with those who bring the light into your life rather than dimming it that's what i was talking about in the beginning guys you maybe have surrounding yourself with people who are kind of taking away from your energy so this is just to like be careful about that okay all right let's get some from the romance angels leo could also be that you're dealing with um, you're a mystery woman or you're dealing with someone who you just can't quite read here. Let your friends help you. You see, surround yourself with those who bring the light into your life. Ask for and accept support from others. If you guys are going through something right now, you are surrounded by a beam of light. You are surrounded by people that care, okay? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? If you've just started to be interested in someone or you're wondering, you know, I, I feel there is someone that you both have romantic feelings for each other, okay? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay? So that is something I feel like you've probably been learning on your journey here. Okay? I'm being called to use the uh, Starseed Oracle for you guys. What other sort of energies can I get here? The whole thing's about to topple over. Okay. Leo's and then I'm going to get messages from your person okay whoever you're dealing with all right what other themes are coming up here for you Leo weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry okay there's something you do need to release here St star bathing light body crystal grid transmission see beam of light I feel like maybe working with light maybe getting some reiki watching some youtubes of like reiki okay light is going to really help you to lighten things up right now i feel like you guys might need some light healing okay all right so what does your person want to communicate to you the person that you're dealing with leo this is from all Things Intuitive, Hidden Truth, Messages, Volume 2. Yeah, things are very heavy, so I definitely feel like you guys need lightness. You need to lighten things up too, maybe do things that you enjoy that get back to that inner child Leo energy that you guys are really good at. I see different... I see life differently now. I'm not financially stable. You see, that's the king of pentacles, but this person might have stabilized their finances. I am in a committed relationship. Okay, we did have that third party energy come through. I'm gonna get some other messages too, because these are kinda, I don't want to let you go, okay? But we have love yourself first. So you guys might be at a fork in the road here. I saved your texts and messages. I am recovering, okay? So I definitely feel like this is someone in the past that you, I mean, this is a soulmate connection, okay? They could be in a place right now where they're just not available. It doesn't mean they're not thinking of you. It doesn't mean they don't care. And they also don't wanna let you go. Um, but they're saying I'm just not available right now. So I also want to get from all things intuitive, um, the original hidden truth Oracle and see what are the other messages they want to communicate. Maybe we'll get some synchronistic messages here.
I wonder if you are happy without me. I wish I had treated you better. See, they have regrets here. I want you. I don't want to let, so I mean, I feel this person definitely still misses you. Let's get one more. And they don't wanna let you go. You were the best thing in my life. Look at that. That really hit hard. Wow. Okay, so they have a lot of regrets and maybe they had some addictions and they're recovering now and now they're starting to see things clearly. All right, Leos, that was your reading. I hope it resonates for you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.